Hey guys, it's the Med Studio and today I'll be discussing how to strategically apply to medical school when you have a low UCAT score. Before we get started, this is just a disclaimer that this video is just an overview of my understanding. If you would like further information, please get in touch with the universities listed. All the information has been referenced and the links can be found in the description below. The UCAT, or otherwise known as the University Clinical Aptitude Test, is one of the main entrance exams that must be completed in order to apply to medical schools in the UK. And it is often considered quite difficult. It's one among the several different factors that are considered during your application. Each medical school has a unique and specific criteria for their candidates. So some universities like to use the UCAT as a major component in their selection process, whereas others provide a smaller weightage on the UCAT score. So don't feel disheartened if you haven't achieved a high score, as there are still plenty of universities that you can consider. So what is considered as a low UCAT score? Well, according to the UCAT test statistics between 2016 and 2019, the cognitive mean scaled score nationally has been between 2,483 to 2,540. This provides us with a section average of scores between 635 to 620. So, although each year is subject to change, it's safe to say that if your score is below 2,720 with a section average of 680, then it's best to apply to universities that provide a smaller weightage on the UCAT score. There are several different options to consider if you have a low UCAT score. Firstly, apart from the UCAT, there is also another entrance exam known as the BMAT. Although not as widely used as the UCAT, the BMAT has a different structure that some students may prefer. Another option is the fact that there are universities that only use UCAT as a filter. So these universities usually have a low threshold and provide more importance to other parts of your application for example, academics or even personal statement. Once again, these are just a few among the many different universities that have come to my attention. And there may be other universities that don't provide a huge importance to the UCAT. So first up is Cardiff University. Here, students must take the UCAT and as per the admissions criteria, it has been stated that no absolute minimum threshold is required. There are also various academic requirements that have been listed on their page. Plymouth University have stated that UCAT scores will be used alongside other qualifications in order to select students for interview. Although each year is subject to change, we can see that there's a trend in this threshold score. Especially over the last three years, the overall score taken in has been between 2,330 and 2,400. The UCAT will also be used alongside the listed academic qualifications. Keele Medical School have clearly listed their full application process on their page. All applicants will initially be academically screened to check if they meet the minimum academic requirements, as well as the UCAT cutoff score. Once you're above this cutoff score, students will then be shortlisted for interview based on a rules and responsibilities form. However, Keel currently does use UCAT results in borderline cases. Leicester Medical School have a specific scoring system that takes into account a variety of factors. This is accessible on their official website. So even if your UCAT is not particularly high, you can still achieve a good score if you're academically strong. Then the highest scoring candidates will be invited to interview. Similarly, Hull York Medical School have provided a scoring system based on academics and UCAT score. This specifically includes your GCSE results, 
UCAT, UCAT Situational Judgment Test, Contextual Data, etc. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it really useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment below. And follow me on Instagram at the Medstudier.